Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. It means that other people can benefit from the messages. This weekly message today is a time to give rather than take. And this is New Moon in Virgo. So this might be that you might need to be compassionate, generous with your feelings, your listening ears. This can also be you being compassionate with yourself. So be kind to yourself. Give your body what it needs here. If it needs rest, give it. Don't push yourself uh, and, you know, push yourself to the limit here. So it's about your compassionate side. Um, it's about looking after yourself in a sense as well. Don't be punishing yourself for anything. It might be times, you know, sometimes an example of this would be if you want to move the energies around you, if you feel you're kind of stuck, an example, for example, we could have money in the bank, but there's nothing happening with it. We're holding on to it. So we might want to give it to make a donation to a charity and that changes the energies around you. Now, that's just an example. It doesn't have to be financial, but showing compassion for other people as well. Sometimes dealing or you know, listening to other people's problems can actually take our mind off our own. And it's that type of, oops, excuse me, I'll just go and get that. It's that type of energy I'm talking about. And we've got the beautiful Empress, so we'll take that. The Queen of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. Now, there's a lot going to be gained here from uh, giving rather than taking. It's about investing in something that you're really passionate about as well. So think about what you want to put your heart and soul into here. Give something of yourself. You could be thinking about voluntary work. You could be, you know, thinking about something. Be, when I said be good to yourself, you can actually become inspired to do something. So if there's something that you need to take up, for example, if you were wanting to start learning something new you're passionate about, then we might have to invest some money into a course of some sort. So rather than keeping it all together, that's the type of energies we're talking about. It's a to and fro type of energy because there's going to be a lot to be gained. There's going to be rebirth and rejuvenation from doing what you're inspired to do. And there's going to be a lot of abundance that will come in from this. Now, this is harmony being created here. She's somebody who's at one with everything. There's rebirth here. You're going to feel great. So time to give yourself to something. Time to make a sacrifice somewhere. It can be a sacrifice type energy. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. So time to sacrifice something in favour of something else. But the benefits for this are going to be tremendous because you're going to really be inspired. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to feel good about yourself here and there's a lot of abundance coming in. Now, this can be support. There can be people around you that would support you. It doesn't have to be financial. If you're investing in something, of course, it could bring you more money because you could get a better paid job. It can be financial. It can be windfalls. It can be inheritances as well. So if there's an inheritance, you might want to share it out with your family, things like that. But it's not just abundance in money. It's abundance in support networks. So abundance in every area of your life. You're going to bring in a lot of nice people because you're in a very attractive energy. You're going to be rewarded for the compassion you show, the time you give, all that type of thing. I really think as well you're going to benefit from investing in others and it could take your mind off your own. Now, I don't know why that's coming. Yes, that's why it's coming because they keep repeating it. I can hear it. The Seven of Swords here. The Six of Swords, this is mental energy. This is mental healing and the Six of Pentacles. Now, it can be that there's been some sort of deceit that's going on around you. Um, and this has upset us here, trickery of some sort. But we want to take the knowledge we've gained and use it and move forward. And it's designed to move you forward to a more compassionate, inspired path here. So there's been some sort of upset that's went on here. But through taking the knowledge we've gained, the lessons we're learning here, we can take um, these lessons and move from choppy waters into calmer waters. So there is support from spirit here as well. And I did say there is support networks around you here. Now, this disappointment could be with your relationships, your finances, your work life or your career. Uh, sorry, your environments, beg your pardon. So there's definitely whatever this area of life is, you can definitely move on. Don't focus on all this. Take the knowledge you've gained and move forward. And what will happen through time? your pentacles will start to grow through patience. You've learned here what it is that you want to do. You're going to nurture that and you're going to invest in that. And through time, there's going to be growth 
and there's going to be financial gain. Now, this can be windfalls, inheritances as well, like I said, and it can also be people. So definitely moving forward onto better things here. So invest in yourself into something. Um, put your efforts into whatever you're desiring and be patient and build it. Um, do it on your own. It might be something, it's saying here, give, give, give rather than take. It might be something you venturing out on your own here. Uh, but don't be frightened to do that. Home. Home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. Now, it doesn't have to be your home environment. It could be any environment. Okay. I hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.